What up, big time gang? Welcome back to another video. This one is a fossil watch. We're going to be doing a sizing. If you see it here, I got the little baggie already pre-made with fossil on it. This is my homie Omar's watch. And um, whenever my buddies get a new watch, I'm the uh, sizing guy at work. So, of course, it was brought to me. And, of course, I'm going to say, yes, I'll do it. But give me a day so I can make a video on it. So, Omar got this for his birthday. Happy late birthday to you, brother. Um, without further ado, peep out the intro, and then we'll get straight into uh, sizing this watch. Alright, so this is a little tin it comes in. Got the fossil logo there. The Desert Dweller Unique Antique and Supplies. Seek and you shall find. Inside you got this little card. You're gonna love your fossil. So what now? We've got some ideas. And I'm not reading all that to you, but uh, it's like registration and stuff for your watch. And here is a watch. Gold tone, champagne dial, 45 millimeter case, 22 millimeter bracelet. And um, this is model number FS4867IE, uh, serial number 4050210. I tried to look up what movement it had in it, and all I could get was the battery size, which is a SR621SW. This is a five atmosphere um, waterproof, which means that none of it's screwed down. Pushers and crown are not screwed down. It's splash proof, basically. I wouldn't ever submerge it or anything like that. Um, 45 millimeter uh, case, I think I said that already. Uh, we'll look at it here. It looks like maybe, let's say 13 millimeters thick. I've got my, uh, caliper handy. So we'll, we'll, uh, test that thickness real quick. So 12.3. So yeah, I was close. Before we size it, we'll put it next to my cooler that I was wearing today. Big difference in size. Try to get it the same level. Dial size is actually like the glass, the crystal. It's almost about the same size, but the cooler's got a lot more girth on the case. But this is a 52 millimeter. This is 45, so not that much of a big difference. Put it next to uh, Venom Hybrid. Let's do that. I got that sitting on the, the workbench right now, too. Now, that's 52 millimeter next to uh, 45 millimeter. You can see a real big difference on that one there. But anyway, let's get into sizing that. So, we're going to take out three links. We kind of measured it, eyeballed it on Omar's wrist. And three links is what we thought would work the best. So, I'm going to take... Let's count them first and make sure they're even. So they're definitely even if you look at it that way. You can tell they're even. So I'm going to take out two on the 12 o'clock side and one on the 6 o'clock side and hope it fits Omar. So this is very strange. I've never seen a watch that had arrows going both ways. So you see that? It's got arrows on the top and the bottom. Same thing on the other side. So I am not sure which way to hit the pin out. So I'm just going to go with the flow and see what happens. So we're taking two out. This is the 12 o'clock side that we currently have in the bracelet holder. Okay.
So it seemed to be like almost like a pin and collar. It's definitely different. Let's see if I can get this pin out. There we go. Okay, first pin is out. Put the links back together and hammer that bad boy back in there. Okay, let's give it a little love tap. Make sure we get it in there nice and solid. Okay, that side's good. Now we're gonna do the six o'clock side, same way. Now I can see now that my holes aren't gonna line up, so give a little bracelet adjustment. There we go. Okay, pull these pins out. There we go, one out. Two out. Move those to the side, take the link out. Put this bad boy back together. Replace one pin. Okay, pin is back in. Okay, make sure that's nice and snug in there and we're good to go. So now the watch is sized. Now we're gonna bag up the links. So I'm gonna take the three links and combine them and make it to where when, you know, if he never needs to adjust it, um, he's got the links and uh, keep them in the box with the watch or however he stores his watches, I'm not really sure. So then put the links in the bag and we're good to go. Done deal. Watch is sized. And now ready for Omar to rock it. I don't know if I showed you the case back. Special engraving. Pretty cool. Oops. That must be like Latin or something. I have no idea what it means. Let me know what it means in the comments. All stainless steel, gold tone watch. There's that model number and uh, serial number there. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see photos of it, stay tuned. I'll have photos coming up next. Have a great day. And as always, God bless. <laughs>